you are anybody in the content creation or video production world, this video is for you. DaVinci Resolve just announced version 20 and it is a game changer. If you don't think this video is for you, you're probably wrong. There's a lot to talk about and I'm gonna go as quickly as possible. One of the first announcements was the IntelliScript feature. What this will do is take your video footage and audio script and create a rough cut of this with the best takes. This next one is a big one because not only have they improved their subtitling tool, but they have added the ability to directly animate it. In the past, you've had to use a third-party plugin or tool to take your subtitles and make them some kind of animatable Text. And it looks like it's going to have the ability to do word by word animation similar to CapCut. Next is the first in many where DaVinci Resolve is catching up to Adobe where you can automatically extend audio. This could be music, this will generate different versions, and they have the ability to turn on the music beat. So if you want to sync to the beat of the song or the BPM, you can now do that. This next one I think is going to be perfect for content creators or anybody who does their own videos. You can now automatically mix your audio. So if you're making a TikTok or a YouTube video and you've got music in the background and some different whoosh or sound effects, you can just drag and select those audio tracks, right click, and it will automatically mix it for you. This next one might be a little bit controversial, but they've added a voice model system. So if you have a subject or yourself a recording and you need to add a voice line, well, you can train DaVinci Resolve in the voice of the person speaking and then add added dialogue. And this one is probably my favorite update out of the entire suite. They have added the spline menu to the edit page. And not only that, but a keyframe adjuster. For the longest time, if you wanted to do more advanced animations, you had to use Fusion and it's finally on the edit page. Looks like they're finally giving you the ability to change your workspace to work with vertical video. This one was kind of a sneaky one, but they've added the ability to decompose PSDs, AKA Photoshop files on your timeline. So if you want to animate graphics individually in DaVinci Resolve, you don't need to export them separately anymore. You can just decompose it on your timeline. Another massive change here is that they have introduced auto podcast editing. What that means is that if you edit podcasts or things with multiple camera angles and audio sources, DaVinci Resolve will now auto cut that for you. And they've given you the ability to use a master audio track. And for all of my fusion enthusiasts, there are massive changes coming to the the compositing tools in DaVinci Resolve. Now you can officially work with deep EXR files, which in the last few years have been like a nuke only tool. They've also finally implemented support for multi-layer imaging. An example of this again would be a Photoshop file or a multi-layer EXR file. There were some smaller changes to the color page, like an improvement to the color wrap tool, as well as an updated magic mask. This reminds me a lot of Runway ML's masking tool, and it looks like it's gonna be a big improvement to the previous version. And I can't believe they tried to just sneak this one in at the end. They're adding generative fill. 